Good evening. Um, I just wanted to make a really quick video for you guys. I know I've had a couple of you ask me, um, Amanda, how do you do your eyebrows? Um, I start out with something because I wanted it to be sweat proof and water resistant. Obviously, you don't want to, like now I'm getting ready to go on vacation in a few days with the kids. Um, I don't want to get in the swimming pool with the kids and come out and it's either running down my face or it's gone. So I picked our precision pencils. Now, obviously, because my hair is black, um, I use ours imperfect. Um, but and then I also follow up and I'll show you in just a minute with our liner shader brush. It's the whole it's it's got two ends on it. This is my absolute favorite brush. I can do so much with this. I can do my eyebrows. I can line my I can do my eyeliner with it. Um, and then if I want to put on eyeshadow or any of our pigments, um, you can get these brushes wet. So you can apply them with the rose water. It's awesome. Um, so anyway, I start out and you can see I have scars on both of my eyes from something that happened when I was younger. So I have to fill them in and I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to use the mirror that's in my touch foundation. I use it in cream after I put on my primer just because I like how it dries. It has like that flawless finish. It has a lot of coverage. My face tends to be a little bit dry, so powder doesn't work as good for me. Um, but I just take, I don't know if you can see when I do this. Mm, I'm a bad camera person, so you'll just have to bear with me. Um, but I just take, and I don't, you don't want to draw a line per se. You just kind of want to lightly fill them in several times if you you know how you see people that have like the eyebrows that they obviously drew in with a pencil you don't want to do that you want something that looks more natural um, so I just do a couple strokes and then I go back over on my other eye here and I just fill them in um, another thing that really helps me and would help anybody is somebody that a really good um, person to wax your eyebrows or if you don't feel comfortable getting wax threading um, I don't I would never I mean some people are great at it but I would never try to get a shape to pluck my eyebrows on my own because they would probably look hideous to be honest um, now I'm just gonna take this you can see you know you see it's really it's flat and that's what I like about it because um, it can really get in there um, so I go back over it with this and I just kind of I guess you just kind of smudge it out before it dries a little bit and that way you're not looking so drawn in and then if you've gone out of the line with the pencil too much you can kind of touch it up with the brush that's what I really like about doing it this way. Um, it's super easy. And if I don't do anything else, um, obviously, before I leave my house, I'm really self-conscious about it. So I at least leave my house with my eyebrows done. Um, and you can see here, they don't look drawn on. But you can see that they are obviously filled in now, so I'm not as self-conscious. You can't tell that I have scars anymore. Yay for makeup. Um, so anyways, if you have any questions about, you know, your color, or even if you want to use pigments. I've used pigments before as well. They work really, really good. Um, the only downfall for me was that I felt like it wasn't dark enough because, like I said, my hair is black. So I have to use the black or else it doesn't match. Um, but anyways, I hope y'all will stay tuned. We have the huge announcement. I'm so excited in about 30 minutes. Um, and I'll be back with y'all shortly. I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye.